You know, to be honest with you, I've not enjoyed the verbal uh, verbal talks and, 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 and saying this and saying that because at the end of the day, I'm a fighter. Normally, I'm a fist you're talking and I'm not into uh, having, a, having a fight like that. You know, it's just, it just makes it weird, man. Um, to be honest with you, I'm a little bit sick of it. I don't want to really talk much today. I could have, I could have, I could have just whipped him, into, whipped into him today. But I was like, there's no point because the fight's so close now. I'm gonna let my fist do that instead. The anger that he's shown heading into this one has that been a real sign of weakness for you? No, not at all. Weakness for me? I don't think so. No, because I think it shows. I think it's maybe it's a motivation for me because it's made me train harder, work harder. From and, his perspective, not for you. From, oh, from for Kel's, his, for Kel's. For Kel's I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know because at the end of the day, Kel needs to know that I'm gonna hurt him going into that fight. Uh, Amir, uh, Fessa Khan from Lights Out Charlie, sponsored by Spartans Law. What do you think the difference is between you and Ken as fighters? And will there be any mutual respect after the fight, regardless of what goes down? Um, look, the, look, the respect, uh, there's no respect there. I mean, especially after that racial comment he made um, about me. I mean, I'm a papa dumb chin. Come on, okay, fine, you know, a chin, you're fine. But, I mean, that's someone who's been knocked out by a jab. That's someone who, who uh, and, and someone who obviously goes into me being Asian, knowing I'm Asian, being a Pakistani, and then says, oh, you got a papa dumb chin, and he's being racial. I mean, I just find it really, really sad that he, t he said that. I mean, I just kind of... I lost a lot of respect. There was even the little respect I had for him. It's gone out the window now. And um, the difference between you and Keller's fighters? I'm a, I'm a better fighter. I fought a better level. I mean, there's, a, there's the reason why I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the A side in this fight. There's a reason behind that. You know, I'm the better fighter. I'm the I'm, I've won more. I've won a lot more. Achieved a lot more. Um, I, yeah, in, in the boxing, yeah. Have you um, said that you two shared rooms when you were younger? Never did. You said it never happened. Can you elaborate on the comments that you made? I mean, I find that quite funny when he said that. I mean, is that obsessed with me that he 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 thought he, he he's, he's dreamt of sharing a room with me? You know what I mean? Literally, he, he's imagined he shared a room with me. He, me and him have never shared a room together. No. And tell me about Eddie Hearn. He said he won't be watching the fight even though he actually wanted to fight on the show. Now, what's your thoughts on that? Eddie won the fight, and 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 look, I think with the hype uh, that this fight's got. Um, you know, in the day, I, I'm quite surprised Eddie doesn't want to want to watch the fight. I'm, I'm sure he'll be tuning in. Eddie is, Eddie is not one of them to not watch the fight. He'll still kind of flick through it, or probably is watching it. Probably a little bit upset he didn't get the fight. Sky obviously won the fight, won the bid uh, for many reasons. Money's not everything sometimes. Even though Eddie did offer a little bit more, I think more is what uh, is the hype, the 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 the, the, the advertisements that, that that Sky do. The, 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 the way they promote the fight is just massive. They got a massive machine behind them. What is Eddie's being bitter? 100%. I mean, I think that just shows the, what he said, yeah. If he's a, if he's a boxing promoter, you want to see a fight like this because it's a fight that all promoters are going to be tuned into. Yeah. This is a fight that he's promoted me, he's promoted Kel. So does that mean even guys he's, prom he's promoting now, if they leave him, he's never going to watch their fights again, he's going to hit them. So it's quite bitter of Kelly, uh, for, uh, Eddie, for saying that, you know. So look, I mean, look, I mean, it is what it is, you know. End of the day, Eddie, I've always had respect for him. I think he's one of the top promoters in Britain, but I just feel that he's a bit, he's a bit. Uh, he probably is going to be a little bit upset that he didn't get the fight. Are you concerned about the weight of Kelly Brook getting into the fight? No, not at all. If he wants to be over, he can be over. He's going to get, he's going to get beaten no matter what. And will you give him a ring? That's it. Well, I mean, let's see. Depending on the beating he gets. I'm here. Let's talk about Terence Crawford being in your camp. Um, what have you learned from him in this camp? And I, know, and I know you guys both sport. How did that go as well? I was sparring him really, really well. And um, he, you know when someone like Terence comes to you and says, oh wow, you did really well. And you did better. You're, you're sparring, you've come on so much. That just shows that how much you've come on since I last fought him. And uh, you would think that fighters are getting only going backwards, you know, especially when you hit 35. But no, I'm only going forward. I'm only getting better. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting sharper. So to see that and to, to have someone like uh, uh, Crawford say that, it only gives me more confidence, you know, have he's you fought both of us. Have you got, ever got any close to anyone in boxing where you drank this sweat? Oh, <laughs> disgusting. I mean, look, first of all, it's disgusting. I would never do that. Drinking someone's sweat. I mean, what's next? He's going to drink his piss. I mean, that's what it's going to come down to. You know, he's going to come down to that next. Or eat your shit. I'm here. <laughs> Has this camp give you that uh, rejuvenation that you've wanted in your boxing career, training with Beaumont, being out there with Terence Crawford? Do you feel this is almost like a, a new you coming into this? Yeah, definitely. Look, it's like a new me uh, going into this. I needed this. I needed this new change, the way I was being pushed and the respect I have for them. Obviously, they beat me, they beat Kel Brook, and I thought that they're doing something right. And when I trained with the first week, I literally couldn't get out of bed. But I mean, now I'm okay. I'm body's so sharp, so strong, and I've been this strong.
In terms of the weight, do you feel you coming into this in a big advantage, obviously knowing how high in weight Kel does balloon up in between fights? Do you think the 149 limit will suit you more? Um, not really, because he, his last fight against Crawford was at 147. And he fought recently more than he fought, fought more recently than me, so I think he should be should be making weight a lot easier. But look, one for nine, he wanted that, and he's got it that, so it's all good. Brilliant. Cheers, man. Thanks, gents. Thanks, gents. Cheers. Cheers.